Uh, we now have some breaking news. The Chancellor has been speaking in the last few minutes ahead, of course, of the budget on Wednesday. He's been uh, under increasing pressure over whether to make tax cuts, to tax cuts, excuse me, and to, to give a bit of detail on that. Let's listen in to Jeremy Hunt. Services. We believe that if you look around the world, the countries which are growing the fastest, whether it's North America or Asia, have lower taxes because that makes a more dynamic, uh, more energetic, more entrepreneurial economy. Uh, so we do want to move to a lower taxed economy, but we're only going to do so in a way that is responsible um, and recognises that uh, there are things that taxes pay for, uh, that we couldn't cut taxes by borrowing. Uh, we'll do so in a responsible way. Uh, but if we can spend money on public services more efficiently, then uh, that will mean less pressure on taxpayers. You're reportedly going to crack down on non-DOMs. Um, have you run out of your own ideas? Are you setting traps for Labour? Why are you pinching Labour policies? You'll have to see on Wednesday precisely what I'm going to announce. Uh, but let me be clear, there is a, a plan for growth uh, compared to the Labour Party that has just had to abandon the central plan they had for growth, this 28 billion uh, number that uh, one day they were supporting, the next day they weren't. Uh, our plan is working. We've halved inflation. Uh, we have 800 more people in work for every day Conservatives have been in office since 2010. More jobs, more investment, lower inflation. We are laying the foundations for long-term growth. Well, Tamara Cohen's able to join us to react to this. One of my takeaways tomorrow is... Uh, Bring on uh, around uh, 11 o'clock on, on uh, Wednesday so we can uh, get the certainty we all want uh, when we go through this dance in the lead-up uh, to, to, to a budget. I mean, it's interesting how he's going to actually deliver something that, that people can celebrate with it being significant when he hasn't got much to spend. That's right. 48 hours, of course, until the budget. And Jeremy Hunt again saying, we believe in a lower tax economy. So what does that mean for what's actually going to be in our pockets after he delivers the budget on Wednesday lunchtime? Well, look, uh, Jeremy Hunt has said over the weekend that he wants to cut taxes, but will only do it in a way that's responsible and in a way uh, that the country can afford. And as you say, he hasn't got much money to play with. To give you an idea of how much, the latest forecast from the independent forecaster suggests there's about £13 billion of what we call headroom, essentially money uh, to play with. Last year at the autumn statement, Jeremy Hunt announced cuts to national insurance and to business taxes worth about £20 billion. So we're not looking, Conservative MPs fear, at a really big ticket tax cut in this in election year in which the Conservatives want to look as if they're putting more money into people's pockets. And, of course, if you cut taxes, as plenty of people have pointed out, you may have to cut spending at a time when lots of parts of the public sector are struggling. A lot of people think he may go for national insurance over an income tax cut because it benefits um, working age people and benefits people in all parts of the UK, but I think a lot of Conservative MPs may be disappointed because they'd like to see the headline rate of income tax go down. And of course, where he manages to recoup the money, perhaps in the form of that non-DOM tax, Labour's idea that he wouldn't comment on, will also be closely watched.